me at the bar, leave me at the bar. Welcome to episode 62 of Life on Tap, a multimedia experience now from the heart of NYC. Uh, doing kind of all right now. The semester's in full gear. My um, This coming week I'm getting my new, my permanent Rainier's in in the front here. It's going to be kind of interesting to see that. Also I have my prep for my uh, surgery coming up, uh, my nasal surgery coming up uh, shortly as well. A lot of stuff going on with that. Um, but first I want to mention a really awesome uh, beer-themed interview um, on Wine Library TV uh, with Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, he and Garrett Oliver broke open Local 1, Local 2, and Black Ops in Brooklyn Brewery right over there at the brewery, which was a great episode. Um, I'm going to link it up right here. Um, and also in the show notes, definitely go and check it out if you're a beer lover, if you're a wine lover, if you're into um, you know that whole spear, if you're into food watch it. You'll you'll definitely uh, gain a lot from it. Uh, but now, of course, onto the beer. Um, so tonight I wanted something a little bit more hearty, something a little more with a little bit of like a oomph behind it, although um, I did have a lot of fun with the last beer we had before. Today we're going to go with the New Holland High Gravity Series Dragon's Milk. It's a, uh, it's a ale aged in oak barrels. I'm very, very, very excited about this. Um, my bottle says 9% ABV, 19 degrees Plato. So let's give this thing a shot. Wow, I smell it already and it's not even out of the bottle yet. <laughs> All right. Wow, look at that incredible, incredible dark, dark brown. It's got a good moderate head on it, good lacing. Not a whole lot of residual carbonation. Wow. I mean, this is like, you know, if you ever um, have cooked with vanilla, the vanilla beans, you know, if you're getting that, that's right off, right off this nose here. It's really incredible. I'm also getting a lot of caramel out of this um, as well. It's almost as if, like, I mean, Cheryl was cooking a caramel-based um, uh, cookies a little while ago, and this kind of reminds me of what it smelled like in the kitchen when she was cooking that here. I'm also getting a residual kind of, you know, play from the oak barrels, obviously, as well. You, you tend to get that a lot with a lot of the uh, barrel-aged uh, uh, beers. It's giving a taste. Caramel is definitely coming through on the taste. Right, one of the first things that hit me here. Um, getting a little bit of the um, vanilla. Uh, if you ever uh, vanilla on the vanilla on the back end as well. I really love the mouthfeel on this. Basically, it's not too too like you know overly bodied, but it's got a nice mouthfeel on it. It goes very smooth across the palate. Um, you know, and for the most part, I mean, other than you know the, the kind of the the hints of bourbon. You're not getting a whole lot of the alcohol burn, which is it's gives you an incredible complex taste and mouthfeel, but at the same time, it gives you um, a really it, it's really well balanced and and, and distinct and uh, definitely um, you know a credit to them. Um, you know this this is this is a high gravity beer, not something to be trifled with by no means, <laughs> but um, you know New Holland is you know you know. State, you know, the United States, even world renowned, basically for some of the beers that they put out there, and this is this is no different. And they too are very much into the the food aspect and the food and pairing aspect as well. And so, well, def I would definitely you know encourage you to go to their website and go check out their stuff. They have recipes up there as well, um, and and Facebook they also got a presence there as well. So you definitely look them up and, and enjoy definitely. In any case, you want to get in touch with us. It is uh, email life on tap at life on tap net. The website is www.lifeontap.net. You can check me out on the Twitterverse and the Skypeverse. I am new type two thousand one, and also on Facebook, I am facebook.com slash new type two thousand one. And um, be stay tuned coming up uh, end of March since I was a unable to make the uh, pub crawl previously during Boxing Day. Maybe doing a, possibly a makeup day 
um, towards the end of towards the end of March, uh, potentially speaking. So we might we might do that. We might do that. Might not do that. We'll see how that plays out. If you're interested, definitely let, let me know, and we'll see if we can make it out there at least to a couple of my favorite stops that I missed before, and we'll have a good time. Because remember, life's a tap. Drink up till it's dry. <laughs>